Well, you blokes over the border think we're crazy up here in Queensland. You think we speak differently and we look differently. But one thing's for sure, we're crazy about our rugby league and we're crazy about state of origin. Now, the other day I was looking into my Refidex. For you guys down south of the border, that's a UBD or a street directory. And I happened to see Curry Court as one of the streets in there. And I got to thinking, are we that crazy here in Queensland that we could definitely dedicate a whole estate to origin names for their streets? Well, I found one. It's here in Caboolture, a whole estate with the superstars of origin, and I'm one of them, all dedicated with a street name or a road name. So come and see how crazy this estate is. So I thought I'd check out all the street names and all the famous players that go with them. And in fact, we're no better place to start here than Curry Court. And I thought it would be opulent, it would have the majestic houses. I'm a little bit disappointed, viewers, I've got to tell you. There's three houses in the street and one's for sale. Well, here we are at one of my all-time favourite players, Big Bacco, Samson Bacco. Now, I call him Samson because he was like Samson from the Bible. He was big and strong and he had a huge mane of hair and they couldn't stop him. Who could forget 1988, he played in the Origin Series and scored a try in every Origin game, got selected for Australia and scored a try in every Test match against Great Britain. Man, he was big, but there was one particular moment after we'd won the second state of Origin in 1988. The cameras got him early after the game. And as you can see, a little faux pas slipped out of Sammy's little mouth. Well, big mouth then. What were those forward pits like earlier? It looked no, like big, a... big. I played good. They played strong in the ball. What about the last 10 minutes, Sam? Was it that defence that won the match? Yeah, mate. Yeah, the boys and tied it right up. Thanks very much, Sam. Well, there you have it, the corner of Lindner and Miles Street. Who wouldn't want to live here? I've got to tell you, viewers, but what about that guy, Gene Miles? What a terrific centre for Queensland. Started off in the centres, ended up at the latter part of his career in the second row and played for both for State of Origin levels. A terrific talent. He scored some fantastic tries and the combination he made with Big Mal Meninga was awesome and something the Blues feared every time they had to come up against him. Bobby Lindner, on the other hand, was revolutionary. He was a lock forward that could run with the speed of the backs and have the power of the forwards. He would have made it today in today's modern game easy. And he was a fabulous try scorer, prolific try scorer for Queensland. And like I said, the corner of Miles and Lindner Street. What a beauty. The Maroons launching an attack as Langer switches play to the pass to Lewis. Across the field, Delta. Delta for the line. Well, here's one to be cherished, famous player. In fact, he's our State of Origin coach now. He's won six series in a row. But he was there for the very first one, 1980, as a 20-year-old. Can you believe that? 20 years old to play State of Origin. And in fact, in that game, he contributed to Queensland's success, kicking seven goals from seven attempts. He was a toe punter, but it's big Mal Meninga. And uh, who can forget that performance him and Wally put in led by the big Arthur Beetson to establish origin history on that night in 1980. And who would think, from that night, we are where we are today. Well, there you have it, viewers. We certainly are a weird mob here in Queensland, and we certainly do love our rugby league. I'd like to thank the town of Caboolture for not putting our names up in lights, but in street signs. And if you're looking to move north from New South Wales and come over the border, I've got a little house for sale in Curry Court that you just might be interested in. Come and talk to me about it.